Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will talk about the 3D renderings, 3D rendering software. As I know the most of my viewers uh, it's students and you don't have the money to pay for the uh, for example to the lumen but you want to get something equal to get nice renderings so and I have the great news so twin motion become free and this is first great great news and the second great news that twin motion become part of the unreal engine or I mean ep epic games uh, actually, Epic Games has bought Twin Motion, as you can see already on the Epic Games site. Uh, and after the November 19, I mean after end of this year, Twin Motion will become part of Data Smith. So if you don't know the Data Smith, if you don't know Twin Motion, so this is time to uh, get close to these two programs and to understand what we will get in the next year but uh, till this year you can use it for free so this is great news for you and you can go to the epic games download the launcher and use it uh, for free so what we're gonna do now today i will show you how you can download it i will show you what we can get with the workflow between revit and twin motion and i'll show you some nice features from the twin motion like we already saw in lumen so let's get started the first thing how you can download it and install twin motion the first if you don't have the epic game launcher you should go to the unrealengine.com and just download it from here as you can see get till the now so just uh, tap here and you will go to the straight away to download the site so this is pretty simple i think you will do that uh to uh, the people who already have the uh um, epic games uh, launcher so you should go to the unreal engine and you will find here twin motion if you don't have it here so sh you should update your epic game launcher so after that you just click on the button twin motion and just launch or install if you don't didn't install yet so that's it that's it after that you just uh, click here on the launcher and you'll go inside to the your twin motion how to import your model so it's pretty simple you when you will open your twin motion you can just use the import actually the twin motion uh, allow really a lot of the uh, type of the files as you can see here all the standards file from sketchup from fbx and whatever but what if you want get some workflow between revit and twin motion so for this one you have the solution you should go to the afterdesk app store and you will find here the twin motion dynamic link so it's totally free you just download it and install so nothing else uh, maybe you just need to registrate bit before you will download it so that's it go to the, the after desk app store and download it all the links you will find below this video when you will install your twin motion dynamic link so you will go to the your revit just open up uh, your ribbon menu and here you will find twin motion so let's open up and as you see pretty simple like we have uh, with lumen so here is my lumen tab and you can see it's pretty simple you will understand um, well how it's working but anyway i will show you so here we have the settings uh, this is a lot of settings uh, if we compare between lumen and um, between motion anyway this is pretty same like and lumen uh, so we will talk about it a bit later on so we can export directly our model as mesh so we can suggest what i can see right now as you can see export visible proportion and we can just export it somewhere like fbx file or we can do the other thing we can make the dynamic link with the c in twin motion just click on that a few seconds just now twin motion asking us what we want to do we want an existing project or we want to create new one for that one i will create the new one just a few seconds wait and as you can see here is our model and as you can see here is my model already with some existing texture texture but actually it's uh, not existing texture it's uh, transferring from the 
uh, Revit to the twin motion. As you can see, some of the models already here from the twin motion. So twin motion can understand RSP models. As you can see, it's automatically already mm, replacing. It looks really great enough. So as you can see, we have not a lot of the work here. We just should now a bit extend our model uh, from the ground and that's it. We can work, uh, we can continue to work with that. So before we will talk about the workflow between Revit and uh, Twinmotion, so let's uh, let's we do our ground a bit uh, the lower case. So here you have some small button, just open up and you can see what we have inside our project. So here, as you can see, here is the ground and let's we place ground a bit uh, under our model. So now we can work. Okay, as you can see, uh, we have here the uh, garage doors. So let's go back to the Revit. As you can see, here is my garage door. And let's delete it just like this. And let's update the model. Just uh, again, we are using the C uh, in twin motion. One more time. Just a few seconds. Let's go back to the twin motion. As you can see, we don't have now at this door anymore. So this is pretty simple how it's working. Uh, the twin motion and the Revit, uh, they understand each other. Uh, I think pretty awesome. You can use the materials here. Just uh, open this uh, small tab, and you will see here the materials, vegetation, furniture, lights, everything what we see already in um, Lumion and some other type of the, these programs. Also, you can use this uh, thing like material picker just like that. And you can see the type of the materials here using just go to the other type materials what you want to use, for example, some concrete, right? And let's use some for example, the this type of the concrete and it's already applying here. Uh, pretty simple to use as you can see it's uh, actually too small. I want to make it a bit bigger I just use the scale button here and let's scale it to be more bigger one Actually, we will find in this under settings more uh, settings like the metalness bump glow and even the sound when you will walk around on this uh, type of the material how it will be sound as you can see here we have uh, like a lot of the choice about the sound how it looks like okay guys this is actually overview about the twin motion now you understand you have the choice if you then have for example the source i mean the money uh, to get the lumen and you can use it twin motion for free i hope it will become a really great thing like a data smith from the unreal engine uh, so uh, leave me some comments below what you think about uh, the twin motion uh, what you will use you will try it so let's talk about the twin motion and not we not compare it we just want to know is it good solution or no so thank you guys and that's it i think for today and see you next time by the way who those who want to get this model as you can see on your screen you can buy it on the gram road if you want to so thank you guys for watching again and see you next time to support my channel you can go to gram road check that my store there you can find a bottle of this dynamo scripts or you can buy two-story complete house or even the two-story residential classic house by this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys and that's it from today thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe my social media leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time